Hey, Chris with RC Worst here. Welcome back to another great video. Today we're going to be showing you, you guessed it, how to wire a double float switch. So stay tuned. All right, so today we're going to be wiring a double float switch. And the reason I thought this video would be interesting is one, we haven't done it yet. And two, the double floats have three wires. Now, some of you may have seen floats before that had three wires and those are the single pole double throw uh, or in this case a double float switch so if you're not familiar with a double float switch we essentially have two floats in here and uh, this one is labeled the bottom this one is labeled the top we've got a relay here so what we're able to do is in relatively deep applications where you maybe don't have a lot of room for a, a wide angle swing you can use the double float switch for a wider range of pumping in those tighter diameter applications. Um, and it's also intended for direct pump control. So let's talk about how to wire this thing up. If you have any other questions about double floats, by the end of the video, make sure you leave those in the comments below. On your way down, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's jump into the wiring here. All right, so wiring up a double float switch is actually relatively simple. Uh, so we've got um, ground of course so we don't have to touch that the double float switch as I mentioned has uh, three wires so what we're trying to do is with our white wire hook that into our neutral or our L2 depending on if it's a 120 or a 240 volt system uh, but the thing to remember with a double float switch big uh, warning label or whatever um, double float switches you have to purchase the one appropriate to the voltage you're using it on so we sell 120 volt and 240 volt um, double float switches you have to buy the right one for the particular voltage you're using or it will not work and that has to do with the relay uh, that we just talked about so we've got our neutral in 120 volt configurations or our l2 in 240 volt configurations that we're going to hook up to that white wire right there and then what we're going to do and of course this is our incoming power so our power source um, so we're going to have the l1 hooked to our black now this could be a wire nut this could be a terminal um, however you're hooking it up doesn't really matter but what we're doing on the other side of the l1 which this would be our load side so if you're using this for a pump uh, this would be your l1 or your hot in uh, 120 volt configurations you would hook that to the red wire so essentially what we're doing here is with that holding circuit that's created with the relay we're able to have let me grab the floats again. So the simple way that this operates, and I got them backwards, but so it requires both floats to be in the up position for the system to turn on, and then both floats to be in the down position for the system to turn off. And that's what we're accomplishing with the relay and holding circuit that's created when both floats come up, and then that holding circuit doesn't break connection or lose power until that bottom float falls back down, which is what gives us that wider range of pumping. So hopefully this quick demonstration uh, showed you simply where your wires go when you're trying to wire a double float switch. All right, so that's our video. It was a short one, short and sweet. Don't forget to like and subscribe, like I said. Um, we'll catch you next time.